How do you enjoy this year? In this video, we are going to create these parametric slate uh, sailings or surfaces. You can use them in anywhere in Revit and with usage of Dynamo to make it much more parametric and more flexible. You can see the results in here. After this video, you can use this technique to create some scenes like this. It's not about the Inkscape scene, it's about the Revit modeling. So the Inkscape scene is not that awesome, but the, this part of the building that and the selling you can see is modeled with this technique. Also, you can see the Revit model in here, and this is awesome to create, and it is a lot of fun to do that. First of all, we need to create a conceptual mass environment. So let's go to the new and conceptual mass, and let's create a conceptual mass environment. And in here, I want to create a sample for the sake of tutorial. I'm not doing to create a big area because the calculation will take uh, too much time so i will create a, a smaller sample of this let's go to the top now let's create a plane with the peak line tool in here and i want them for five meter from each side from here one two three and four or maybe five and then let's set our work plane on this one let's go to the front view and let's create a one for ourselves. But before that, let's copy the level two about 11 meter. Okay, that's great. Now let's uh, use S plane to point and create this for ourselves. But before that, we need to set our work plane again. And now let's go to the front view, select S plane to point. And now let's create something like this. I want it to be wavy. So I will create it something like this. Now I will select this one, but before that we need to set our work plane on this. And I will select this one, I will copy it on each reference plan that we created. Now we have all of them, we can manipulate some of them. For example, let's bring this one a little bit down. I want to create a kind of a column in this side. Uh, let's bring this one to the ground. And for the next one, let's bring it in here. And for the next ones, I want to change these parts instead of the other parts that we've changed to create a random surface. And now let's select all of them and let's create a surface from this. Now that's great, we have our Revit surface and this is the easy part. Now we are going to use Dynamo to create the uh, tools that we want to convert this surface to a, a parametric shape or parametric slate cell. Okay, now let's go to the manage and in here let's open Dynamo. Now in a new Dynamo file, the first step is to select this face in here. Let's search for select face. This is the one, click on select and let's select this one. And let's go to the geometry and zoom to fit and now you can see the uh, surface in here and then I want to create some points to uh, extract the intersection of those points with this surface that I have let me rotate it a little bit so I want uh, I want to create some points in here let's bring the points by XYZ that's great I want to create a set of points so I will create a range let's bring the code block by double click in here 0 to about maybe 30,000 and by a step of maybe 1,000. Now let's bring it to the x value. You can see it is going to the other side, so I need to make these numbers minus, and now I have the numbers in this side, and that's the thing that I want. I want those, those numbers according to our surface. Now that's great, and then we need some planes to uh, extract the intersection of those planes with the surface. Let's bring some planes. We want plane by origin and normal, and the origins are the points. And for the normal, we are going to we need some vectors, and for this one, we need vector y. So let's search for vector, and let's bring the y vector or y axis for ourselves. Let's put it on this one and let's see the results in here. You can see we have exact number of planes that we had for 
no, uh, we had war points. And you can see the planes in here because they are invisible, but they will do the work for us and they will create some intersection for us with these servers. Then we need to bring the intersection, but before that I will put the run uh, type on manual because it is a heavy uh, script and it can make, it can crash uh, and it has the probability of crash. And after that, let's save the script for ourselves too. Now let's bring the other node that we need, which is intersect. You need to search for geometry dot intersect. And this is the one that you want to use. And then assign the surface and assign the planes and click on run. You can see it is just two points because when we select this and when we are doing this, the two lists are not equal in number, so we need to change the level or we need to change the lacing. If you want to know about lacing, I have another video in the, I will put the link in the description. But for now, just click on geometry and uh, uh, activate the use levels and put, uh, put the levels on level one and click on run. You can see even after using levels, it doesn't work because I need to bring it to level one. And also another thing is that we need to use x vector. Let's bring the x vector again to have an intersection with this surface. We will bring it down and then we have x axis in here. And let's assign and let's connect the x axis. Let's click on run again. And now we will have all of the intersect with this surface. And now we have the lines that we need, which are in here. And then let's select all of these and let's hide the geometry preview and now we have the lines that we need and then we need to create an offset from these lines to create our slate from it so let's bring the translate job translate node in here search for translate and we want translate by uh, direction and distance this is the one and let's bring the geometry to here and for the distance i'm going to create a code block in here i think about 200 millimeter is enough. We can change it later too for the distance and for the direction, we want Z axis. So let's bring the vectors again. And let's bring the Z axis to the vector and direction of our translate. Let's click on run. And now you can see we have the lines in here with the right dimension. If the uh, offset is not enough for you, you can increase it because we are using Dynamo. It is really easy to work parametric, let's put it on 300 and let's click on run again and now we have the files that we need and also let's uh, hide the geometry preview for these ones again we can select all of them and we can hide geometry and now we just have the translate but I don't need to hide the geometry of this one let's bring the show geometry now we have the lines that we need for our surface creation. Okay, that's great. But before that, let's check the just let's check both uh, lists. We have one list in here and another list in here. We need to combine them in one list. But how we can do that? Let's bring the list node in here and let's click on add and let's add two lists to combine them together. Let's see, the, see this list in here too, but before that we need to click on run and now let's see the list in here. This list is great, but the only problem is that this list has columns uh, and each column, uh, it, this list has two big rows and in each row we have the list one and list two. But we want it vice versa and we need uh, too many columns and two rows. To, uh, and we want to change the direction of this list that we want to see. For example, we want the first one with the first one of this one, second one with the second one, and so on. For that operation, this is not that hard. You just need to bring the transpose in here and give the list to it. And now let's click on run. You can see the result in here. If you even added the transport, it didn't work because we need two flatten in here. The first one for here and also for here. When you see the list in here, this is not the right structure that you need because you wanted it, you want just a list with all of the curves in it. 
we want the same one for this one too let's bring the flatten and let's add two flatten to each of them one for this and let's create a control c control v for this one and let's add another one to this and then bring the output of this flatten to here let's see the output of flatten first in here you can see we have a list with all of the uh, translated nerves and also we have another list with the original nerves now in the list we have two big lists with two big lists with each of them is number of nerves but we want because we want to create a love we need uh, groups of two so we need to transpose this list to achieve something like this you can see we have 54 lists 54 items and in, they are in pairs and they are the, that's the thing that we are looking for and then search for the surface and we want to search by and we want to create a surface by love and bring it in here and because we have the right structure in groups we can just bring the output in here and then click on run and now we have the right surface in here that we can work with and the next step is that we can create a geometry from it but before that, it is better to load this uh, into your Revit project and then you can do other parts. But before going to the next part, make sure to like this video to help us create more videos like this. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to go to the Patreon. I will put the link in the description and you can get access to all of the exercise files. Save your script, close the Dynamo and bring this, you know, bring this mass into your project. For example, in here, let's place it in here. That's great. Now let's open the Dynamo again and open the script that you have and run it again to see the results if it's work. It doesn't work because you need to select the face again, select the face in here and click on run again and you need to check the results in here. You can see it is not correct because we've changed the, we've changed the placement of the points in here. We need to bring the uh, Revit preview to see the shapes in Revit, element, Revit environment too. Let me go to the view and let's go to the background uh, 3D view and go to the available and turn on the Revit background. And you can see it doesn't work for you. And we need to see the geometry of these parts. Now you can see the line in here, which is a little bit off in comparison with the mass. So we need to bring the surface to the left. Let's go to the Revit and let's go to the top view and let's move it to the left. I think it will be fine. Let's select the face again and click on run. Now we have all of the intersects and also you can see the preview in Dino. Now that's the time that we need to assign a tick and face to his because these are some small surfaces let me hide the preview of these parts to see the exact shape that we've created so far these are the surfaces that we've created and now we need to use ticken to give it a thickness to these surfaces that we have just search for ticken and this is the one and put on surface and let's assign about maybe 60 millimeter and click on run and now we have the uh, we will wait and then we will have the right geometry let's check the thickness it has a good thickness but when you see the reference for example i showed you the reference the distance between these slates are too low that you can't understand you can't see beyond them so we need to do the same thing here because we have used dynamo we can go uh, to the uh, previous steps in here and you can just change this to a low number maybe 300 or 200 even less maybe 200 and then click on run and wait and then then you will have the right model for yourself okay this shape is great but now the time is to bring it in Revit because all of the geometries that we've created so far are in Dynamo and they are not existed in Revit. There are lots of ways to bring it, but we want to use import instances. No, to do that, just right click in here and search for import instance. And this is the one by geometries. And before that, make sure to save your 
Dynamo and save your Revit file because it's a heavy process and can crash. And then bring the output to here and click on run and you need to wait and you will have your geometry. Now we have the geometry in Revit. We all need to do to turn off the mouse, look at the massing side and turn off the mask. And also let's go to Dynamo and let's turn off the Revit background preview. Now we are good to go. Let's save it and close the Dynamo. Now I want to change the material of this. To change the material of this geometry in here that you can see, you need to go to the Manage and Object Style. And then Imported Category, Imported Object, and in here change the material in here. For example, let's select it and let's assign this material here and let's click on OK. We need to do this for the other one because I've imported the two eyes and we need to assign it for the default category, not the uh, whole geometry. Let's do, the, do this process again. Let's click on OK and OK. And let's put the shade on shaded mode. And now we are good to go. And also make sure to like this video to help us create more videos like this. And if you want to create another great geometry with Dynamo, you can see this full workflow tutorial for creating a twisted tower in Revit and Dynamo.